What's up, everyone? I'm here today with uh, Shamik. What's up? And Shamik is a, a beatboxer who I'm working with, and um, we are collabing on a project. We're working on a new track together, and uh, we're also going to be playing a music festival called Diversity, which is happening this summer at uh, on Texada Island. And we're going to be doing a pretty unique tag set um, where uh, Shamrock's going to be providing some vocal percussion and uh, some emceeing. Uh, I'll be laying down some beats and playing some live sax. So I just wanted to uh, take a couple minutes here and give you guys a, a bit of an intro to him. So for anybody who doesn't know about um, beatboxing and what beatboxing is, um, bro, you want to give us a little intro? Yeah, it's vocal percussion or mouth music. And for me, I hear music in my head and I use beatboxing to bring it to life. So I do everything from bass lines, synth, drums, and when I'm performing it's almost like a DJ playing a track into another track, but it's me mixing everything. So a little sample would be... Nice, brother. Now just imagine that on a gigantic sound system with it moving everything all around it. It's amazing what you can do with a microphone and, and a voice. So, uh, And it adds a really unique flavor to the music. So um, um, Shamik's been around for a long time. He's toured the world. Uh, he's played with some of the top names out there. And um, would love for you guys to check out his tunes. He's got a lot of amazing stuff online on his site. What's your uh, web URL, bro? It's shamikmusic.com and my name is S-H-A-M-I-K. Sick. Yeah. And he's got a Facebook page. We'll uh, plug the links below in the video so you guys can uh, check them all out. And um, yeah, it's it, it's interesting to see the collab that happens between musicians. One of the things I've always been trying to do with my music is to bring in an organic and a live flavor and get into doing some looping and things like that. And um, uh, Shamik is based out of Vancouver. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know who might be local about some uh, upcoming gigs you can catch him at. He's actually going to be opening for Dub Effects. Uh, coming up, maybe you can tell us about that show, bro. It's going to be a lot of fun, and Dub FX is unreal, and he's done a lot for beatboxing. And if you are someone that watches a lot of YouTube videos like this one, you'll know that he has millions and millions of hits of him playing live all over the world, busking and performing his album live, and having a really positive message. So it feels like a real honor to be able to open for him. And that one's at 560 in Vancouver on July 8th. And uh, we're doing diversity on Texada. I'm performing in Al Northern Alberta in a place called Driftpile Valley for this festival called Astral Harvest. And that's put on by the Techno Hippie crew. And then Base Coast Project, this will be the third year. And that one's in Squamish Valley. And it's just this wicked bass heavy party put on by three lovely ladies who had a vision to put all the artists on the West Coast on the map by letting us be the headliners at our festival. And that's Base Coast. And then I'm doing Brampton Global Jazz and Blues Festival in Brampton, Ontario. And then a few more things that are coming up that you'll hear about soon. Needless to say, uh, this guy is a very active promoter and a uh, very active uh, performing artist. So uh, he'll be always very humble about what he says, but uh, would definitely encourage you guys to check out some of the YouTube videos he has and, and see the, uh, the, the chops that he's got on the mic. And I'm really stoked for you guys to hear the collab that we're going to be working on together, uh, the track, and uh, you'll expect to see lots more from, uh, from us coming up in the future. Um, maybe you could fill everybody in a little bit on um, how you got into beatboxing, how long you've been in the scene for, and... Um, and uh, yeah, just give us give us the, the, the blow by blow as far as how you got to where you did. Sure, yeah. I was making noises and doing voices, impersonations when I was a kid. Like I would watch cartoons and movies and quote lines just from my memory. And it was just a funny knack that I had. And yeah, I would watch a movie once and then just start like reciting lines from it. And people would be like, didn't you just see that movie? How do you, and I don't know, I just remember it. And even, you know, being a loudmouth kid, making fun of my teachers and, and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't really know there was such a thing called beatboxing. And then I always had a really warped taste in music, you know? Like, I was listening to everything from, like, Smashing Pumpkins to Snoop Dogg to, you know, Ace of Bass to the Beastie Boys, you know? Like, in junior high, in elementary school. And the first time I ever saw the movie Beat Street and Dougie Fresh was in that movie... That was one of the first times I ever saw beatboxing and actually Michael Jackson did an exclusive with Oprah Winfrey and 
Sweet. A lot of people don't know that some of the tracks that he's, he had written came from a beatbox because he would do his own bass lines and kind of vocal scats and percussion. And that really blew me away. I think it was in sixth grade when I saw that Michael Jackson thing. And then, yeah, and then uh, the first time I ever heard Rozelle's Make the Music uh, album that he did, and everybody knows his infamous If Your Mother Only Knew track where he sings in beatbox at the same time. And even still, I didn't think I was going to be a beatboxer, but I was really fascinated by it. And then I just started hanging out with lots of musicians, and I would kick the, the kicks and the drums for them. And that turned into like jamming with poets and singers, guitar players. And, you know, I think I started to have more confidence and went to lots of jams and open stages. And then uh, I have a friend in my hometown of Edmonton. He goes by Uncle Sam and he was the like first beatboxer I ever met. And we started playing shows together. And um, I've lived in Vancouver, Calgary and Edmonton, all three cities. So I feel lucky that I've gotten a chance to live in all three cities and be part of all the scenes there. And from having a love for electronic music, when I was in high school, I was listening to, you know, um, the transition of Radiohead going from rock into electronica, like going from um, the Benz to OK Computer to Kid A, and then also listening to like the Chemical Brothers and Daft Punk. So I was really into electronica music, and that's when I got the idea that bass lines that I make can make people dance. Nice. And so. And then you started to unleash that on people. Right, but it took a long time <laughs> to get noticed at the right shows because beatboxing is always looked as a or as always thought to be a hip hop art form and I love hip hop mm. and hip hop was the first music that I ever danced to same with R&B and I wanted to do uh, you know I wanted to make people dance so I started doing like techno and drum and bass at shows and it would go over a lot of people's heads and then uh, finally in I think 2004 2005 uh, Degree who's in a group called Night Riders now and he saw me perform because we played the same party and then he booked me to open for DJ Craze and that show kind of turned out to be a pinnacle with like getting me on more electronica shows and then I started to play raves and, nice. and and you know parties where I would be beatboxing trance before a trance headliner or like beatboxing drum and bass before a drum and bass headliner and then slowly <laughs> started to get into more electronica shows. Nice man. Well I know where, uh, where we met actually was uh, last year in the summertime at Soundwave yeah. Music Festival which is in uh, Uculet, BC. And uh, I was supposed to play uh, on Friday night uh, earlier, but uh, we rolled in and the generator for the stage I was supposed to be playing at blew out and so oh, my yeah. set got canceled. Yeah, and right. so I'd rolled there with the whole crew and been preparing for about a month for it. So we were kind of we were kind of bummed out, but then we realized, you know what? We're at this multi-stage party and beautiful sunshine in the west coast of BC and so we just started partying, having a good time and uh, and then it you know, was getting close to midnight and I, I got a, a call on my phone from the stage manager saying, uh, dude, our one of our headliners just uh, just uh, is, is late or couldn't show up. He was trapped behind a roadblock somewhere and, uh, you know, could you come and throw down a set? And so I <laughs> grabbed all my gear and scrambled and was putting it together on stage and um, Shamak happened to be uh, the guy who was on stage at that point in time and you'd kind of been on stage. They, <laughs> they kept you on for a little longer than you'd expected. Uh, and It was actually a <laughs> marathon set uh, and it wasn't just someone who was running late. It was Matt the Alien, our good friend. And I think that he had just, his wife had just had, Amanda just had the baby, but I think he was caught with the ferry. If you ever played a show on the island, you know that catching the ferry and getting somewhere on time. It's a long it's, journey. You're on island time. Yeah. And so <laughs> I was performing, and it's funny because every show I've ever done, a DJ always has an extra track to play, or they play one without you knowing it. But at this point, outside, I've been on stage for like 45 minutes and done every genre I can think of with <laughs> my loop pedal and everything, but there was no DJ in sight. And I was like, is this really happening? And then <laughs> and then uh, Vespers came, but he had a little bit of gear, so... They were like, can you go out and stay on for 10 more minutes? And I was like, I'm out of breath, but I'll hold it down. And, <laughs> and yeah, and actually... Nice, man. You saved the party. <laughs> and then and our friend Long Walk Short Doc went and got a tune that we had just been working on. And he played that. We debuted it there, and that kind of stalled for a little bit, too. And then Vespers came out, and we did, like, a, a jam with the saxophone and beatbox. And that's how we met. We hadn't even, like, talked before. No, we just then, thrown into the mix on stage together, and it was good. <laughs> and then I think I even, like, I didn't even have your contact info after, and it took, like, a couple of weeks to track each other down. And then, yeah. and then we talked on the phone, and that's that a year later almost we're, we're doing this. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's around that, around that same time this year. <laughs> Sweet, bro. Well, um, thanks for sharing all the info. I really appreciate it, man. Cheers, um, man. One last question I have yeah, for you for sure. is for, um, 
you know, you've, you've been great with, uh, you know, uh, marketing yourself. You've, you've been living the lifestyle that a lot of musicians aspire to touring around the world and things like that. And I know, you know, being the humble guy you are, you'll always, you know, downplay it or say there's always a next level for me to get to. But um, what's really valuable for, for the folks that listen to the channel here, all the aspiring musicians, is um, any type of guidance you could give, uh, say, specifically for, for anybody who's into beatboxing um, to advance their career or, you know, to get towards that lifestyle. Most definitely. I think that the, the idea that you have in your head might seem weird to you or somebody else, but if you believe in it, you really got to go for it. And that could be the weirdest sound. Like if I made a sound or a sound or a sound that came from some bizarre idea I had. And then I just kept doing it over and over again while walking down the street and getting funny looks from people or cars driving by going, what's this, what's this guy doing? And you know, or trying it out at shows. But, you know, all the people that want to be a beatboxer, it all starts with learning one sound and isolating it. You know, obviously, if you watch someone who's been beatboxing for a while, you want to do all those crazy sounds right away. Or the same with producers. When you hear a beat, you want to be able to make that beat. But just do, like, learn how to do a really good kick drum. Even if it's quiet, if it sounds like, eventually you can get it to sound like, you know, and um, have original music because you know we all want to listen to new stuff and um i get really stoked when i see really young kids learning how to beatbox and sometimes i do workshops and you know like an eight-year-old kid will make a sound that i've never even heard of before and so wow. my advice for everyone is just you know dream big and then dream bigger because possibilities are endless and and um you know a funny little loudmouth kid like me turned a bunch of sounds into a beat and now you know, I, I feel really lucky to make songs for people to listen to and make people dance, but I didn't know it was going to be like that. It was just all, a, a, you know, a sequence of ideas. So just every idea that you have, even if you have a goal for yourself, like write it down, stare at it every day and figure out how you're going to do it. Like, oh, I want to learn how to do a bass line or, oh, I want to, you know, and music is the best. So just listen to lots of music. You'll get lots of ideas. Sweet, brother. Well, thanks so much for your time, man. Really appreciate it. I know sure. everybody else does there, too. We'll be doing more of these interviews as I start to network and meet with other artists. I think um, one of the visions I have for this channel is to now take it beyond just, um, you know, the education I can give you guys. I'm, I'm just one person. I have one perspective, but there's a lot more to music out there than Vespers, right? So uh, I have a network of other musicians that I know, and I'm going to be bringing them into the studio here and filming interviews, and um, just uh, we'll be keeping the education going. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely check out Shamik and his tunes and if you're local in the area uh, come out and rock with us at one of the shows and uh, thanks so much for watching yeah big ups to vespers thanks man cheers